Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will be learning about Azure portal as well as the cloud shell specific. These are the cloud shell. So I'm going to talk uh, starting with the Azure portal. So this is a portal you would be doing interacting with the GUI base. So it's a completely web based and unified console that is providing you uh, as an alternative for your PowerShell uh, management. Uh, from the PowerShell, you can you know create all these commands and can be you know uh, create your Azure resources, right? So if you are looking for an alternative to you work with the graphical user interface, this is the best option. That what you can you know get it from the Azure portal, or maybe even the same case if you're trying to use from the Cloud Shell or from Azure CLI. All that um, you know that doesn't provide you a graphical interface, other tools or any other uh, management tools that we talked in this lecture. Only as your portal provides you the graphical user interface. So let's jump into that graphical user interface console and it's a unified console and it's alternative to your command line tools. And with the Azure portal, you can actually manage entire Azure resources, which are with the graphical user interface base, you can manage, you can build, you can create, you can monitor the resources that you wanted. Like you can create your web applications, you can create a complex cloud deployment tools or deployment services can be done and you can create your dashboard. So when I talk about the dashboard, this is my front screen. As soon as I log in here, I get it here. And if I want to you know, have a dashboard for my specific services, let's say I can create here, like here, click on new uh, resource group and you can you know set the time zone you can simply drag and drop uh, that would actually you know come up here so you can give the time zone and uh, the user accounts or maybe whatever the resources you want to know a uh, view in your dashboard that all can be done from here let's say I wanted uh, in this case maybe a logical apps I can simply add here as the logical apps and you want a bigger one or smaller one it can be adjusted based on your requirement so it just uh, came down and security uh, metrics I want to add for example I can add here so this security score out of uh, 250 so that I know that you know something going wrong and if I want in you know, availability zones I can configure here so this is my dashboard once it is becoming my dashboard I can see all subscriptions so for this availability zone, you need to you know, configure what kind of you know availability zone uh, you wanted to you know, view it. So in my case, I don't have the applications which are um, having that availability zone specific. So I can't definitely uh, done that. Uh, so I can't get the data, but this is my dashboard. So you see here, I have a three different dashboards. And if I just go to any of different dashboard, I get a different view. So you can't get this with the command tools if you're trying to manage um, or view the command based tools to view all the resources at one shot as a dashboard you don't have that option and you have with the Azure portal now within the Azure portal you can uh, what else you can do is you can do the customizations for your uh, look and view for example you want a fly out based or dog based when I say dog based so all the time this uh, view will be there like this if I just use the fly out it doesn't view that and also you can adjust your contrast black or white all that based on your requirement uh, these are also sometimes called as accessibility specific uh, or con uh, specific settings that we can say that on top of it uh, how to uh, work with the dashboard so to talk about that you know you can create any of the resources by going here from the docking uh, three uh, three lines like create you can resource like you want to create a new uh, computer you can go here and create that specific VM which is running with the operating system called here uh, the Windows 2016 data center or maybe a CentOS based Linux you can all uh, fulfill this information and you can do that so we did in fact uh, tried uh, many of the demos we did created so I'm not gonna waste here again creating that specific VM but uh, I just wanted to talk here for example you want to add some additional uh, component for example here you don't see uh, a specific service let's say you want a web uh, you want media services to be there so what you can do is you can simply here go here and uh, when you, you know put your cursor it's come up here and just click on that star button that would actually populate as a favorite so if I just go back here the media service is there because I have chosen as the favorite that's why the star is that if I taken out this star it simply goes out from here 
you see and I can drag and drop this also up and down so that the way you want it you can adjust the sorting options and also you have uh, the view uh, like here you can you know view you can filter here the settings that you wanted to choose at portal settings because if you have multiple subscriptions that information will automatically come up and you make sure that you have uh, chosen the proper um, subscription uh, otherwise it's gonna you know come up with uh, different subscription and you, you might be you know, ending up with a different resources and uh, creation in that different subscriptions and coming back to the uh, if you have already computing and let's say I wanted to view the virtual machines I can go and check out here and whatever I'm clicking here you see here for example I wanted to configure uh, networking so I just clicked on here make add incoming uh, rule so what would happen is if I just you know go down and see so these are this is a first blade this is a second blade we call it this is another blade this is where you are actually putting the information so how it works is everything works based on the blades let's say if I try to you know create some uh, something here so what happened is if I just give here the values example demo and it's actually gonna create a template right so what would happen is here uh, my blades are getting created here so the information which I click on here this is one blade this is another blade we call it in Microsoft Azure portal these this is how you call you want to you know save it you can you know click on create and save but we call this frame this entire frame is a one blade so so you have to you know go to the left uh, left to right navigation would happen uh, make sure that you know you need to you know remember that and coming back to the uh, cloud shell so within this uh, lecture I'm also covering not just the SU portal also the cloud shell so what exactly cloud shell the cloud shell is a feature if you don't have a computer to work and uh, you you wanted to run your commands directly uh, instead of uh, executing uh, or clicking on from the browser based as your portal then you can run those commands to get it created let's say uh, we talked about in the previous lectures or maybe upcoming lectures we talked about as your powershell or as your cli so as your cli is basically for the linux guys uh, who are comfortable they can use these uh, command lines to execute the commands but the PowerShell guys normally uh, it's like the Windows uh, Windows guys normally use the PowerShell but what if they don't have the computer to work on it but they wanted to you know, execute so in that situation let's say they are maybe in a airport or they may be you know in a beach and they wanted to execute some kind of you know command simple commands that are saved in a maybe in a Azure storage and they want to you know recall that simple script to execute so that the business uh, availability comes or the business solution maybe you know you're resolving that business case in that situation you can use the cloud shell so the cloud shell is the uh, the additional one which is uh, let me open up that actually this is the cloud shell this is where you actually you know click here you see here little icon so when you click on this cloud shell so what would happen is here uh, you are gonna you know either creating a, a temporary a, a kind of you know small storage account that's where actually there's um, commands and other things would be you know stored so I can choose here let's say you know create that it's gonna create me a storage account if you see here my current storage accounts are very limited here I don't have anything with the cloud shell based right so it's gonna create here another one in a minute you have no storage uh, accounts are mounted so it's gonna uh, creating this once I just you know close this it's gonna create a storage account and then on top of it um, I can run the command so now if you see here there's another storage account gets created in a minute or so and uh, I can directly work on this uh, command let or as a bash based or PowerShell based so it all uh, the comfort gives for you whether you want to you know, use the CLI based commands or you want to use the PowerShell based commands. So if you are looking for the consolidation or summarization of what exactly the uh, Cloud Shell. Cloud Shell is basically with this you can authenticate, you can 
access right directly from the Azure portal of any anything any resources that you wanted so you get uh, virtually uh, work from anywhere and you have the uh, you can choose your preference uh, shell experience either bash or powershell so i'll say in the confirm it's going to change to that powershell uh, other one would be the see you see here i'm actually connected in the background what would happen is actually it spins up a little bit uh, console based um, vm uh, which is which is which is not going to charge for us uh, only it's going to charge for uh, the storage but you get that uh, console ready for you and you see here whatever the commands you have executed here like uh, let's say you wanna uh, you wanna create a new resource group here maybe like this so simply you know the same command you simply paste it here and it's gonna create for you uh, the resource group which is the tutorial resource so you see here it's just created if I just go here uh, before that uh, let me you know show you here the storage account I didn't show you so now the cloud shell specific uh, storage account has been created um, if you see here resource group is cloud shell storage account that has been created now now if I go back to my uh, resource groups that's what I talked here so if I just go to resource group here uh, it should be created by this time called uh, as your resource uh, group called a resource trial uh, try a tutorial resource group so if I just refresh I should be able to see here tutorial resource group so that's how you simply you know no need to you know browse and do all the things simply if you have the code you can directly execute here that's the advantage uh, of the uh, cloud shell and we talked about the PowerShell now let's also have a look on the bash so all we have to do is the bash uh, is a very simple requesting to the cloud shell it's success and it's connected to my uh, right to the my subscription so within the shell you can use the uh, hash uh, CLI commands uh, from the bash console so for example you can you know look at your help so let me click your help and uh, I can use the help to learn more about AZ specific or that uh, like you know as AZ help so that would actually list me all the Azure specific uh, commands and how to use that and for example let's take one example as a tutorial resource to be you know, deleted so the command should be I should be using AZ group or uh, deleting uh, the name of the resource group so the group is nothing but here the resource uh, so I would be in you know, a group is the resource group that is a template deployment so I simply you know execute that so in a minute um, it's gonna ask me for confirmation so I confirm that and it's gonna delete it so in a minute it's gonna delete it that specific one if I just you know refresh in a minute or so uh, it gets deleted after uh, see you now it's running the job and I can a little bit you know go up so that you can see here it's get deleted deleting so you have the flexibility to you know up and down the options uh, of the console and also you have here new console uh, you can you know upload the files or the script so that it can be saved in your uh, storage account also if you want in a new console to be open simply new session click on that so this is the session would you know automatically open like this and uh, you're good to go actually you know using all that specific commands if you don't like your uh, in a small window it goes into the bigger window and you can you know use the editor um, so this would actually tells me uh, what you're trying to do like example within the Azure uh, whatever the files you are you know trying to play all the history all that can be you know viewed from here and this is a web preview you can configure so that uh, you can uh, view it uh, by uh, by looking into that uh, what's happening based on that uh, ports directly now if I just you know close this and uh, the Azure resource group has been already deleted and if I just go back here and uh, refresh I should not ha see here the tutorial point or tutorial resource group it's just gone uh, that's how you can you know play with this cloud shell and this is more uh, advanced uh, concepts you have with the cloud shell and because the connection if you see if you just you know disconnect it's still the connection will be there and you can go back and you can work on it uh, the way you want it i hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this